Unveiling the Mask. Understanding, Pretend Innocence. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, pretend innocence. It's a phrase that pops up in everyday conversation, literature, and even in movies. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand what it means but also how to use it effectively in your own conversations. So, let's get started. Pretend innocence is a two-part phrase. Pretend means to act as if something is true when it is not, essentially acting or imitating. Innocence, on the other hand, refers to the state of being not guilty of a crime or offense, or lacking experience in something. When combined, pretend innocence involves acting as though one is unaware or uninformed about something, often to avoid blame or responsibility. It's like wearing a mask of innocence. Let's see how pretend innocence is used in different contexts. 1. In conversation, a friend might say, don't pretend innocence, I know you ate the last cookie. Here, the friend accuses someone of acting innocent about eating the last cookie. 2. In literature or movies, a character might pretend innocence to hide their involvement in a plot or crime. It adds a layer of intrigue and deception to the story. These examples show how the phrase can be used to express suspicion or accusation in various situations. Be mindful of tone. When using, pretend innocence, the tone can convey different emotions, from playful teasing to serious accusation. Context is key. This phrase is best used in situations where there's a background understanding between the speaker and the listener about the subject. And there you have it. Pretend innocence is a versatile phrase that can add depth to your conversations. Whether you're discussing a book, chatting with friends, or watching a movie, understanding and using this phrase can enhance your English communication skills. Thanks for watching, and we hope this video has been enlightening. Happy learning, and see you in our next video.